we want to divide and write the answer in lowest terms. When we have a quotient involving a fraction, we write the quotient as a product. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Looking at our notes here, dividing by c over d is the same as multiplying by d over c, where d over c is the reciprocal of c over d. Looking at our first quotient, we have 3 sevenths divided by 12. We first want to write 12 as an improper fraction, which would be 12 over 1. So we can write this as 3 sevenths divided by 12 over 1. And now I'll write this quotient as a product because dividing by 12 over 1 is the same as multiplying by 1 over 12. So we can find this quotient by determining the product of 3 sevenths and 1 twelfth. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So multiplying the numerators, we have 3 times 1. Multiplying the denominators, we have 7 times 12. Before we determine these products, though, we want to simplify out any common factors other than 1 between the numerator and denominator. So notice how 3 and 12 share a common factor of 3. To see the common factor of 3, let's write the prime factorization of 12. So the numerator is 3 times 1. The denominator is 7 times 12 is equal to 4 times 3, and 4 equals 2 times 2. So we can write 12 as 2 times 2 times 3. Once we have the prime factors, we can actually see the common factor of 3. 3 over 3 is equal to 3 divided by 3, or 3 thirds, which equals 1, which means 3 over 3 simplifies to 1 over 1. Now we can multiply and know that the fraction will be in lowest terms. Notice the numerator is just 1. The denominator is 7 times 2 times 2, which would be 14 times 2, or 28. So this product is the same as this quotient, which equals 1 28. Next we have 12 27 divided by 10 21st. So as a product, this is the same as 12 27 times the reciprocal of 10 21st, which would be 21 tenths. So multiplying, the numerator is 12 times 21. The denominator is 27 times 10. But again, before we find these products, we want to simplify out all the common factors other than 1 between the numerator and denominator. And let's go ahead and do this by using the prime factorization of these factors. We already know the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. The prime factorization of 21 is 3 times 7. The prime factorization of 27 would be 9 times 3. 9 is 3 times 3, so we'd have 3 times 3 times 3. And the prime factorization of 10 is 2 times 5. And now we can actually see all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. There's a factor of 2 in common and two factors of 3 in common. So 2 over 2 simplifies to 1 over 1. 3 over 3 simplifies to 1 over 1 here as well as here. Now we can multiply knowing the fraction will be in lowest terms or simplify completely. In the numerator, we have 2 times 7, which is 14. In the denominator, we have 3 times 5, which equals 15. So this product is equal to 14 fifteenths, which is also the same as this quotient. I hope you found this helpful.